And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Hey everyone, we've had warmer weather this afternoon compared to yesterday. Yesterday we had high temperatures in the 60s with cloudy skies. Today we saw a bit more sunshine and the temperatures climbed into the 80s. 81 for the high in Westlico. Right now we're still seeing some clouds in place and yes, there is a good chance for some more patchy fog overnight tonight into your commute tomorrow morning. So uh, please be careful when driving tonight as well as tomorrow morning. Right now, winds are at the southeast between 10 to 13 miles an hour. That's why it's feeling humid out there. And those southeasterly winds will continue for tonight as well as for Monday, really for the first half of this week. Here are the current temperatures. Temperatures are mostly in the lower 70s, 70 here at the station, 72 in Edinburgh, 71 in Raymondville, 72 in Brownsville, and 73 in Rio Grande City. So your day planner forecast fog in the morning. Temperatures are in the upper 60s at 8 a.m., but it turns partly cloudy. It is breezy and warm for tomorrow afternoon. We're up to 80 degrees at noon and 79 at 5 p.m. with high temperatures in the lower 80s. So we're on the backside of high pressure at the surface, so we're getting winds from the south to southeast shown by by the white arrows, one warm front pushing northward through North Texas into Oklahoma. On future track, let's see what happens over the next couple of days. These white arrows indicate the upper level wind flow, and you'll notice it's mainly from west to east. When we get that west to east upper level wind flow, that means that the temperatures are warm here in the valley. It's going to stay warm, actually very warm for Tuesday and Wednesday. The other reason for that is we'll get winds coming off the mountains of Mexico uh, closer to the surface. Winds will be from the south to southwest, and as those winds come off the mountains of Mexico, that air compresses, it descends, compresses and warms, and that's why we're looking at high temperatures in the upper 80s to around 90 for Tuesday and Wednesday. But then things change for the second half of the week. There is one front coming in by very early Thursday morning, but it's a weak front, so here are the keywords. And not much cooler, but we'll take whatever, whatever we can get for the second half of the week. Uh, by Thursday, high temperatures are right around 80 and perhaps in the upper 70s by Friday. Throughout all of this, the rain chances, though, are close to zero. On the water, we have winds that are the south to southeast at 10 to 17 knots. Bay water is a moderate chop. Your next tide is a low tide at 439 tomorrow morning, and the seas are 2 to 6 feet. Beware of patchy fog offshore tonight as well as tomorrow morning. Also onshore, mostly cloudy skies for tonight with a low temperature of 67 degrees, so not terribly cold. And then for tomorrow, after that morning fog, it turns partly cloudy. It's breezy and warm for the afternoon, 83 degrees. And look at the winds tomorrow out of the south to southeast at 15 to 25 miles an hour. Let's talk about that seven day forecast. If you like the warm weather, this is going to be a treat for you. 89 degrees on Tuesday, 90 on Wednesday. Some records uh, could be broken uh, both days. Tuesday, mostly sunny skies, also mostly sunny on Wednesday. The front comes in very early Thursday morning, so we're down to 80 degrees on Thursday, mostly sunny skies. It's a little bit cooler on Friday with high temperatures in the upper 70s, direct to the lower 80s for next Saturday and Sunday. Another front should arrive by next Sunday. That's your first.